So we're going to continue doing some of the things with connected particles, and this time we're going to be thinking about things that are hanging on pieces of string instead. Okay? It is really, really similar ideas to what we've been doing before. Um, and this time, I think you should be pretty okay with this kind of thing. We just have to make sure we read the question really, really carefully to hear what it's talking about. So it says two particles, A and B, of masses 3 kilograms and 2 kilograms respectively, are connected by a light, inextensible string. Particle B hangs directly below particle A. A force of 65 newtons is applied vertically upwards, causing the particles to accelerate. Find the magnitude of the acceleration and the tension in the string. So this is really similar to what we've just done about cars on roads with trailers. Apart from now, it is not moving horizontally, but instead it is going to be moving vertically instead, right? So if I draw what this looks like, I've got two particles. Which one is, um, which one's on top, does it say? A. a is on top. It says particle B hangs directly below particle A. So here is particle A, here is particle B and they are connected by a string like this. I might label that this one is A and that this one is B. So it's a bit like this kind of situation here. My hand is like particle A, my keys at the bottom of my lanyard are like particle B, and it says a force of 65 newtons is applied vertically upwards, causing the particles to accelerate. Well, which one do you think the 65 newtons is being applied to? It has to be being applied to A, really. So that must mean on my diagram that I've got here, I've got 65 newtons that is going upwards like this. Now, I've got some missing forces that are occurring here. What other forces should be occurring? Good, good. I've got to put the weights. I've got the masses of 3G, sorry, the 3 kilograms and 2 kilograms. So the weight, you have to take into account that this one has got some weight and that this one here has also got some weight. This one is three kilograms and this one is two kilograms. That's the force that people forget to do in this kind of scenario. But if something's moving up and down, of course its weight is going to affect how much it's going to move up and down. And what else do you think is gonna be happening? We've got some more forces that are missing here. Yeah, Nabil, we've got the tension as well, okay? And it's definitely tension. If you think about what it feels like to be this particle B, to be like my keys hanging at the end here, what do they feel like the force is doing? Does it feel like it's pulling them up or pushing them down? Pulling them up. Hence there being a pulling up force here. If you think about what it's like for my hand, I feel like the string is pulling down on my hand. Hence we have this traditional way of seeing the tension that is like this. Okay, it's string, so we've got tension and they're moving upwards. So I'm now going to say that the particles are accelerating upwards like this. Yes? No, so this is not three grams, this is three multiplied by the gravitational force. Oh. So this is the weight, okay? It's like um, the size of the force is three kilograms multiplied by 9.8, basically, okay? So it now works exactly as we did previously. They're moving in the same direction as each other, so we can either consider the whole system, or we consider particle A, or we consider particle B. Let's consider um, the whole system like we did previously. So I'm going to look at the whole system and I'm going to be resolving upwards and I'm going to use F equals MA. So forces that I've got that are going up, I've got 65. I've also got a T here, but I know the other T is going to cancel it. I'm going to just write it in. You don't have to write it in if you don't want to. So my forces upwards are 65 plus T. My forces downwards are T, 3G, and 2g, the mass of this is 5, because there is a 3 and a 2, and I'm going to try and find out what the acceleration is. So I have 65 minus 3g minus 2g, so that's 65 minus 5g. I'm going to divide that by 5, and that will give me the acceleration. Now remember, g in, we will usually take to be 9.8, so I can do... 65 minus 5 times 9.8 divided by 5, and we get that the acceleration is 3.2, exactly. 3.2 meters per second squared. What questions do we have about this here? Yeah, Shahan? 
The 5a is because this left-hand side here is the resultant force. This is the mass, and this is the acceleration because of force equals mass times acceleration. And the 5 is because it's 2 kilograms and 3 kilograms together. We're considering it as one whole thing. Okay. So that was part one of the question. And now part two of the question wants us to find the tension in the string. Have a think to yourself, what would you do to try and find the tension in the string? Just have a little think. Taylor, what do you think you might do if you were going to try and find the tension in the string? Not sure? Anyone think they've got an idea of what you might do to try and do that? Yeah, empty as. Good. Yeah, just going to pick one of the things to focus on. We'll either look at A or we'll look at B. Which one do you want to look at, Abtiaz? A. A. Okay, great. We're going to look at A and we're going to resolve upwards because that's the direction it's moving in using F equals MA. So if we look at just this particle that we've got here, would you be able to tell me what, the, what you think the resultant force is, Abtiaz? Uh, yep. Minus G. Yep. Good, minus 3g equals? Good, and a in this case is 3.2. So we've now got an equation that's only got one variable in, which is just t. So I'm going to do 65 take away 3g. 65 take away 3 times 9.8. So that's 35.6 minus the tension is equal to 9.6. And when I rearrange this, I get that the tension is equal to 26 newtons. I wouldn't normally ask you to do this, but I want to check that that is the right answer. What can I do? Good, I can check the second one. So I'm just going to put this in some big brackets. I'm going to look at B, and I'm going to resolve upwards using F equals MA. And I have my resultant force is t minus 2g. I've just got that one going up and that one going down. And that's going to be equal to the mass, which is 2, times the acceleration, which is 3.2. So it looks like the tension is going to be this times this plus 2g. So 2 times 3.2 plus 2 times 9.8. And we get that tension is equal to... 26 newtons as well. So it's always nice when you get the same answer that it corroborates and it matches up because it just means you've definitely got the whole question correct, okay? You can look at either of those. So you had that choice of which one to use. Um, I don't mind which one you use. Personally, I, I probably would have used B just because it's got a few less forces. But Ibti has picked A and you see how we still got the same answer. So um, it doesn't really matter which one that you're going to pick there. Okay, so you'll have a couple of questions like that to do just in a moment. I'm just going to separate this into a, a different video.